Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new series of a game called Mech Mechanic Simulator. Now, this is a bit different than what we play on this channel, but I thought it'd be fun to check out this simulator game. What it is basically, we get mechs, we have to fix them, we send them back, we get money, we get reputation, and we build a garage that's worthy of our reputation. So it'll be quite fun to go through all the mechs and all the situations that we need to go through to fix the mechs and stuff like that. So let's check it out. It came out on the 25th. So it's a brand new game and let's go. Okay, so apparently we have competitors, which is not unusual in a, in a business, I guess. All right, so the intro, walk around, WSAD as normal. You can rotate the camera using, it doesn't show anything. In order to interact, use that left mouse click. I'm guessing, oh, rotate the camera using the mouse itself. Cool. All right, um, okay. You know how hard it was to find this place? And unregistered mechanics are still being prosecuted by the authorities. Since you're operating in a somewhat gray area, they'll surely make me your partner in crime. Screw me apart and make me a blender or some okay. other tool. Just be careful, yeah, I, okay? I, I do need a good blender though. Like, blenders are good nowadays. All right, so I am recording this in 44, uh, 1440p. So hopefully it's not laggy or anything. I see a bit of lag, I guess. But I'll check that in the sentence. Maybe there's something I can do. Ooh, health. Would we need that? Don't know. But this place absolutely looks amazing. Now, where are we going? We gotta go up there. Okay, let's go past this robot because he takes his time. And let's head on over to start our empire. All right. We need to get to the official license as soon as it is possible. Without it, we're no longer having risk of bigger jobs. Okay. So how do we get a license? With this ha handy PC, you have access to offer jobs. I assume you've been working in a workshop like this before, but I'm here to help if you feel lost. Should we continue to the tutorial? Yes, why not? Let's quickly go through it. Okay. Here you can see the list of all currently available okay. job offers. With time and enough work, more of them should appear. Cool. So, Sakura Technology, a legacy. This panel will let you view the details of selected jobs. You will see the corporation is trying to hire us. The mech model, the job description, and what tasks you need to complete. Okay, cool. So, we need to repair one part. Main task, repair part, question mark, clean mech. Okay. I'm down for that. It does look very, very rusty. How do you, how do you clean rust? Right, let's head to the assembly station and see what's wrong with our patient. Cool. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. Damn. I have to walk all the way around. I can't even run. I don't think. We need to find out what's damaged in the mech. To do that, we will use this station. But first, we need to clean the mech from okay, all Okay, so the let's dust. get the dust and mud off. Clean. Okay, clean. Cool. All right, by pressing and holding start flow of water, and it'll clean the entire mech. You can rotate the device using this. Oh, okay. I am spraying all over this mech. Oh, you're a dirty mech, ain't you? So. Get the arms. Gotta make sure we clean everywhere. Oh, and that's done. Lovely. That was nice and easy. All right. Um, do I just come out of it? Cool. Scanning. Before the scanner turns, every mech currently working in the workshop to adjust the scanner, you need to increase or decrease the phase and aptitude. Uh, okay. So we need to make it fit. So this is the amplitude, amp amplitude, and this is the phase. Okay. So. No, maybe like that. Mm. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that scans it. That is interesting. Oh, and we see a part, that red part in the arm. I think that's what we got to fix. Okay, scan complete. Cool. 
assembly. Okay, this will let you select. Okay, so I'm guessing the red is the the problem. You've got left arm, control case, left leg, right leg, and right arm. So that is, oh, you can't see, oh, you can turn. So that's the right arm we've got to get off. And we pull it into there. Okay, we need to detach it. Okay, so let's let's get that off. Oh, I like this. Parts are held in by screws, you'll need to remove them first. Ooh. Okay. So if it's red, that means we mostly need to remove something first before we can take it off. Look at that. Taking apart a mech. That's how intelligent we are. Alright. I guess I close that. Yep. And head on over here. And check this bad boy out. Look how big that arm is. That's like the size of my body. Alright. Cool. Use Q need to switch between. Okay. Okay, cool. I didn't really read too much of the instructions just there, but I'm sure it'll work out. So we need to get to that part, right? And the next part is divided into several categories. Attaching a part will, will be different for each such category. Ask selecting the part you wish to attach, holding. You will need a small arrow explaining the movement you need. Ah, okay. So it needs to go up. Cool. Nice. Um, that goes up as well. So we need to get this part off. We need to get back there. So how would I get that off? Do I need to get the screws or what? Maybe that, maybe this actually. Let's take that off. Take the screw out. Take that off. Wait, now can I take this off? Um, yeah, no, I need to take this off first. But let's take the screws off. I wonder how complex it actually gets. All right, so we need to take this off now. Maybe this little piece. But I feel like we're so close to it. I hope I don't have to put all this back on. Okay, it seems we can now remove the source of the issue. Go on. With pleasure. Let's go on, go up. And then down. Oh, so you have to go up and down there. Okay, we don't have the hardware. So we have to buy it, I guess. I should have read all of that, shouldn't I? How do I buy it? Hmm. This is what happens when you don't read. Place parts will become highlighted. Clip place. That's assembly. I don't want that. I think I need to go to my computer and buy things. Let's take a look. Okay, so it wasn't at the computer. I had to press assemble and go back onto it. So now. The inventory is already filtered to show you the part that will fit the selecting shot. We don't have a new one attached right now, so we'll have to buy it. Select search in the shop option at the bottom. Okay. So let's, the button will move directly to the shop, which might be filtered results. Cool. I want to buy 1,875. The old and the new one, notice that they're different quality. Each part can be and have one of four quality ratings. Unrepairable, damaged, repaired, and new. If you want the player to consider the mech fix, you need to replace the part labeled unrepairable and damaged with repaired or new parts. Cool, that makes sense. So this is, guess new, this is broken. All right, seems the issue has been solved. All you need to do is assemble back and let me know when you are done. So these are the signs I'm guessing. So normal, repaired, broken, unrepairable, broken, damaged, rusty. So now we need to just put everything back on. Great. And we had 
uh, all the materials that we've just taken off it. So it's not like we have to put new materials apart from the bit that we fixed. Wait, yes, got to put this on first. And you can put, you can. I wonder if electric sheep. Electric really sheep. Exist. You can put, uh, not put things back, and you might not get all your money for not for doing so. You will get less money because you're giving them an uncompleted or incompleted machine. All right, seems good to me. Now we need to pull it back on the mech, I guess. Yeah, let's reattach assembly. Right arm, lovely. Do I need to do the assembling part here as well? I do. And can I do that through? Oh, look at that. I can do it through. When you Happy days. Old. All done. So I think we can now go to our shop. Well, not our shop, our iPad. Oops. Why did that do that sort of lag spike there? Okay. Let's get to this. All right, the screen enables you to do this. Cool, finished job, job's done. I think, I've, I truly think I'm the best uh, mechanic here. I'm just gonna say that in this world, in this lovely, lovely world. So total payment, 9,800. But it also cost us about 1,875 for the, pop, the new part. So we made a bit of money, I guess. It took us nine minutes for that job. We can enter the shop at any time. Let's have a look, open the shop by using I. Okay. Here you can buy yourself met parts. On left, you can search for parts by their name on use or use filters. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff. Loans. Increased re reputation can open enormous doors. We prove that we are worth the trust and from now on we can take loans. From this screen, you'll be able to take loans and specify the repayment. Okay. Schedule. I don't really want to take loans because um loans are never good. <laughs> They're never good. They never work out. So what do we want to do? We want to get a new job now, don't we? We want to get some more money coming in because we on the top left there you can see prestige we've got zero prestige so we need we need to get this up so you know what we're gonna take we're gonna take an expensive job a legacy minotaur i want to try minotaur because we just did a legacy didn't we um two parts to repair and cleaning okay sounds like a job we can handle here at um, Firefly & Co. I think that's what our company name's gonna be. Very original, as you can tell. All right. He's big, isn't it? I wonder what these mechs are doing. Most probably out partying or something. All right, let's clean you. Um, yes. Let me spray all over you. Get all that dirt off, off of you. There we go. You are already looking so much better. Right, that's complete. Get the scan done. Uh, that looks about right. There we go. I think the scanning animation looks pretty damn cool, if you ask me. All right, scan complete. Let's see, right arm and left leg. Okay, let's get the right arm off first. Wires, oh, there's a little thing there first. That wasn't too bad, it's literally just wires. Seems a bit worrying if you're out battling something that if they chop off them wires, your arm's pretty much coming off. And let's get the leg out of here, okay. So we need to get these screws out. Now see, this seems a bit more like durable, robust. There we go. And let's close that and assemble you. No, nope, not assemble you. Fix these problems. Look how 
massive that leg is. That's fat, boy. That is humongous. All right, let's see where the problem is. Is it your toe? It's, it's pretty much your toe, isn't it? Okay. It doesn't seem that hard to get to. We should order a cleaning robot from Dalhousie. It would have a giant vacuum and a plasma rifle. I want a cleaning robot with a plasma rifle. Like, to be honest, like, why else wouldn't you want a cleaning robot? There we go. So we got that part. Now we need to go to the shop. Now we need to assemble it. And I want to search in a shop for one. Hydraulics, there we go. Ah, it's 1,800. I'm only getting 11 grand from this job. So I've got to be really careful about how much I spend on these parts. It's got to be worth it. Now I'm hoping later on we can uh, sort out our own parts. It'll be much more efficient. All right, so that's the leg done. This one, again, seems like in a decent place. There we go, all done. And now we assemble that. We're gonna get a new part. And buy that two grand. I've spent four grand on this already. Four grand. Like, come on. That's more than enough. All right. That's done. And let's get, I think I need to reduce my mouse sensitivity. It's going all over the place. All right, let's get this back attached. Now this shouldn't be too hard because it's just wires apparently. Look at that. Easy, left leg. Now I think we need to spin around of this one, don't we? Yes, we do. Let's get that on, let's get that on. Screws in, screws in. Bish, bash, bosh and Bob's your uncle. There you go, all done. All right, let's go and give this back to the client and see how much money we make. All right, finished job, everything checked off. Look at that bad boy. Ready to go out there and do whatever you do best. And we got 11.2 thousand for that, but we end up using uh, 4,000 on parts. Finally. Now we are finally able to buy a mechanic license. Without it, we have no chance in getting bigger jobs. Better get it quick. All right, so uh, thanks to the license, we can finally become a legitimate company. Let's head over to the office. I'm in the office. But we're finally going to become a company. Nice. Nice. The company tab, okay, I'm trying to press that. Um, buy license, 25,000, I've got 30,000. Unlocks, gaining reputation with the corporations. That's exactly what we need. I want to become famous. I want to become well famous. More advanced jobs based on prestige level. Ability to purchase stations. Ooh, I wonder what stations are. Oh, the logo. The... Now we can create a real company. Let's start with the logo and name. By using the arrows next to the logo, you can define the shape of it. Using the menu on the opposite side, you can define its color. Once you achieve the desired look, type in the name and accept it all. Don't worry, you'll be able to change the logo at any time later. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly design a logo and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so. The company is called Fireco, uh, Firefire Co. Sorry, uh, I've got it already. And kind of like this sort of robotic um, logo with, I would say what the color channel, the channel colors are. So let's start this company. Thanks to us starting a company, we will finally get the treatment we deserve. It's good, but since now the quality of your work will have an effect on our reputation. I like the way he says our, like he's doing some of the work. The reputation with each corporation needs to be gained separately and your standing can be checked in the upper right corner of the screen. Okay, so I guess these are the corporations. 
The better standing we have, the more serious jobs we'll get. Having good reputation will also increase our prestige and give us access to better hardware. When it comes to hardware, the license gives us access to special repair stations. Cool. At the beginning, the assortment won't be anything special, but with time, we'll be able to buy really nice pieces of hardware. We'll use the stations to fix the part, not just repair them. Let's have a look at the enter the company tab and stuff like that. What does this do? Ah, that needs to be on the white background. Okay, I already forgot what it wanted me to do. Station shop. For now, it seems our prestige is too low for us to buy anything. I'm sure when we earn some trust, the corporations will let us buy something special for the workshop. So let's see what we can do. There's quite a few here. Tablet. I can't click on them yet to see what they do. Decorosion station, welding station, painting station, electronic station, calibration station, software mission table okay and a crafting station this is what i like to see maybe we can craft our own parts save a lot of money change logo change workshop workshop colors excuse me i nearly forgot since we have our own company and license we can yes please the workshop select the colors that you think will fit okay. us best so let's take a quick look at this okay so that changes sort of the outline here we're gonna go with the sort of yellow and orange that we always use. Okay, uh, like that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. I'm happy with this. All right, let's accept. I think we've got time for one more job, so let's uh, let's try this and try and get some reputation. The jobs. What can we do? I do want a good one, but again, three parts, 12,000. If I'm spending at least 2,000 at each three parts, I'm only going to get 6,000 for that. But with this, if I spend 2,000, I, I will get at least about 7,000 there. Okay, let's get that. A lion tamer. You should have been a lion tamer. Like, who wouldn't want to be a lion tamer? I want to be a lion tamer. All right, let's clean this dirty, dirty mech. Ah. All right, so the same process. Let's just get this junk off it. I wonder what type of mechs are going to be. Because I've seen two so far. I, I'm sure there'll be more than just two of them. All right, so that's fully cleaned and steamed up. Scan is nearly there. There we go. Get the scanning and let's see. I think I only, I only did one part, didn't I? And it's like it's the right leg. And it seems quite easy to get to. So this should be a relatively quick one here. Let's put you in there. All right. How do I get you off though? That's the problem. All right. I hope this is the right thing. Because I can mostly just take parts off and it might not be the right thing. Oh, yep, there we go. See, that was a bit robust. That's how robots should be. Not being held together by a wire. All right, let's get you sorted. All right, so we need to get to that. Well, that was easy. And let's go and buy a new part. See, two nearly 2,000 pretty much. Let's put that in. And yeah, that is done. Repaired. Nice and simple. And let's assemble that back up. Easy, easy. That was literally the easiest job ever. Get back upstairs. Oops. It's lag. Don't know what's happening. 
Maybe I need to change the graphic settings. Maybe. Or maybe I'll record back at 1080p. Maybe that's the problem. And done. Literally like 30 seconds. If my time estimation is anywhere where I think it will be. Okay, now my time estimation is rubbish. Do never listen to me on time estimation. But we got one reputation. And great. Prestige increase. Your prestige has increased. You've unlocked decorrosion station, welding station, and tablet. Lovely. But I think that is all we're going to do for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to look at the welding stations and all that and try and actually try and get all three of them. We'll do jobs and get some money and try and see what they're about. So thank you for joining me on this new adventure to build a mechanic workshop for mechs. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>